Testing, testing, one, two, and two, three, Ichini San Gigo Roku Sichi Aichu Kuchu Ptapu. Hi, guys, and welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything that goes with the metaverse, of course. Today, very exciting video as we're going to be putting head to head the Oculus MetaQuest 2 store on the right hand side and the Pico Neo 3 Link on the left hand side. It's actually the other way around. Pico Neo 3 link on the left hand side and the Oculus Meta Quest 2 or Oculus Quest 2 store on the right hand side. Whew, very exciting video. But first, guys, do remember that you are potentially eligible for those who know this already. By the way, timestamps in the description below. You can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP. That's right. They'll be the ones who send it to you upon hitting the 11 thousand subscribers you'll also be able a second lucky devil will be able to win a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station the cyber chair everything that goes with it and a third potential lucky devil can win or walk away with a us dollars 50 us dollars sorry voucher that you can redeem against any vr store for your oculus meta quest store or your viveport or steam vr store so very exciting stuff guys Foof. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the stores. Ooh, are you guys excited? All right, let's jump inside. I'm gonna put on the Pico Neo 3 link, which is, by the way, well, this is the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which will be exactly the same. However, there will be some updates happening at the end of this month. And also I've sent a whole bunch of emails to the Pico team to find out all those juicy details and know exactly what the differences will be between the Oculus, sorry, the Pico Neo 3 link and the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which is this one here. Let's jump into the Pico Neo 3 link right away. So we're inside the store now. The microphone that you can hear at the moment is actually coming from the Pico Neo 3 link itself or the Pico Neo 3 Pro, uh, as it will be more or less, as I mentioned before, the actual same headset. And inside, so this is your home, by the way, guys, just so you can see. And you can see the planet here. I mean, this is really amazing. The screen door effect is very, very minimal, but of course, compared to the HP Reverb G2, it's definitely a little bit more noticeable uh, in the sense that, for example, for the planet, I can see some very minuscule, I would say 0.1 mm, not even 0.05 mm lines there. So it's not fully fluid compared to the HP Reverb G2. And then also, of course, you could change your actual background or there used to be a way to change it here. Now, there was a software update that occurred very, very recently. Uh, so it's possible that this has been taken off. And now the only thing you can actually see is planet Earth in its glory. Happy Earth Day, by the way, is to those, um, you know, who celebrated it on the 22nd of April. So now let's just go into the App Store. I'm not going to do a, you know, a, a demo of absolutely everything. We're just going to stick to what today's video is about. Now, normally what you can do is you can log in with your details and then you can make your purchases and all these things. Now, the question is, is whether um, Pico are going to enable us the ability to actually redeem with a code. Because, for example, if you want to buy something for your friends or for us content creators, um, it's going to make it very difficult because at the moment, the only way to uh, basically be able to try the apps and bring you some content in the future is to ask every single uh, app developer to send us an APK that we can then sideload. However, I'd like to note that most developers, Pico, especially if you're listening, will not do that. They do not wish to do that. Um, you know, they much rather us typing in a code and then that's it. All right, so let's go at the top. So the top, you can see there's O-Shape. There's also Smash Drums demo. And with the Smash Drums itself, there's also Contractors VR, Dayism, Hyperdash, INT. So it seems that there's also, you know, the Pico store at the moment compared to the MetaQuest store is much more, I would say, experimental a little bit. There will be an update apparently at the end of this month. Does it mean that, for example, here you can see some Chinese, will all the Chinese thumbnails or Chinese apps be taken out of the EU store? This is something that I've asked the actual Pico team, and also if there's any other app that have Chinese inside of the actual app itself, that means they're in Chinese, will they also be removed or will they stay in the store? Um, so, you know, for Meta, it's a little bit more polished in terms of the actual experiences in there. For any experience that doesn't meet the grade, they have the App Lab or SideQuest. However, for Pico at the moment, um, well, I mean, there's pretty much everything and anything inside 
But let's just carry on. So we have Clash of Chefs VR, also Racket NX. We have Last Knot, 11 Table Tennis VR, Sculpt uh, VR, Hitstream Demo, also Hitstream, the actual game itself. Then there's Game. Also, uh, there's Sky World Kingdom Brawl. There's also Avalon, Loop Space, Touring Carts, Audio Trip, Synth Riders, Cloudlands 2, Arizona Sunshine, Chess Club, Snow Fortress, End Space, Rest in Pieces, Crisis VR Brigade 2, Crisis VR Brigade. Uh, by the way, VR Brigade is very, very hard. X Booster, Shooty Skies Override, which is a really cool, fun app as well. Song Beater, Quite, Death Leap, Z Race is here as well. Good to see those guys there. I'm not quite sure what kind of updates they've done so far. I'd have to go and check it out. Rocket Skate VR, Dash Dash World, Gentrix. And please also note the prices. I mean, Dash Dash World is pretty expensive. 25 US dollars. Is it worth it, guys? Death Leap is at 10 bucks. Which one would you go for? Dash Dash World or Death Leap first? Or potentially would you go for Arizona? Sunshine, which is at 40 US dollars, guys, but we do know that our reason our Sunshine is a very, very good app. Also, Synth Riders is at 25 US dollars versus Audio Trip, which is more or less the same, although not as defined as Synth Riders because over the years, Synth Riders has really progressed quite dramatically since its beginnings at 20 US dollars for Audio Trip. Cloud Lens 2 is at 20. US dollars. Uh, however, Walkabout Mini Golf would probably be much better. Is it in the store? We're going to have to see because at the moment it is not there. We also have some Gentrix. Also have All in One Sports VR, Zombie Land, as well as Power Beats VR. Power Beats, which is an old app which has, has, which has been reconfigured for modern times. Not sure if it's any good because there's a lot of those kind of apps where you punch things, to be honest with you. But do leave a comment below. Let us know if you've tried it on other VR headsets. Polygon World Demo Tribe XR, of course, a sublime app. One of my favorites. Polystar VR Swarm. Nature Treks, which is very cool. Very decent for $10. Dragon Fist. Also, Yuki. Yuki is not bad whatsoever. Quite original. Not many apps like that in VR at the moment. Wind Wind. Death Horizon Reloaded. Retropolis. Pixel Rip 1995. Prison Boss VR, Operation Serpent, Jupiter Grad, very cool, and also Cubism, both very worth trying, those two apps. The finals over, one of the only, I think it's the only cricket app in VR at the moment, available on the App Lab, but yes, you can see here, it's directly inside of the store itself. Warplanes, WW1, Angry Birds, of course, a very cool app. It's only, oh, it's a little bit more expensive on Pico. I think it's 10 bucks on Meta, but we'll go and check out that later. Sam and Max, of course, Drunken Bar VR, Slurpee, Space Slurpees, $5, definitely worth it for sure. Seb's Dinner, Gloomy Eyes, very cool, worth checking out as well. It's not more of a game, it's more of a uh, experience, I would say. 1976, sorry, back to Midway, Sarriento VR, Art Pulse, Apex Construct, Ninja Lands, Stardust VR, Legendary Hunter VR, Golf Pool VR, all right, very interesting, it's free. Wonder Glade, Ones for Pico Neo. Very interesting. Ones is a very cool VR app, of course. Rhythm and Bullets, Bullet Roulette, Guns and Stories, Bulletproof VR, Escape Legacy, Lab Labyrinth, Beat Blaster, Apocalypse Rider Neo 2. Tsuro is a very fun app. Definitely recommend that one. Zuma, The Rabbit Hole Neo 2. Quite an old title, this one. Rico Shooter, Rico's Fragments. Red Matter, definitely worth trying out as well, but not very long experience, this one. Party Bumper, Pangman, Gadgeteer, definitely one of the favorites also. Fuji has been around for quite a while. Down the Rabbit Hole, which is a very cool experience. Nice to see it on the Pico. Discovery, The Exorcist, Bait is a very cool app for sure for those who like to fish. Finger Games, Mini Games, and Flappy VR. So here you go, have it. Uh, here you guys. You have it here, all the various different titles 
which ones are you very excited about to be able to try on the Pico? And which ones do you think you're not so excited about? Please leave a comment below. So now we're going to leave the Pico and go back onto the PC and check out all the Oculus Quest 2 by Meta's store and just see what are the differences between the Pico and between the Oculus Quest Meta 2. Okay, guys, so before we go to the meta, do remember that at the end of this video, I will be reading out some comments and also welcoming some new members to the VR Essentials YouTube community. All right, without further ado, whew, let's go into the actual MetaQuest store. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that the biggest difference between the Pico and the meta is that meta is much more organized in terms of how they present the content. The fact is that I can actually go to the website itself compared to, for example, if I go to Pico, uh, Pico VR website, uh, go to Pico Interactive, which by the way, Pico is owned by ByteDance guys. And do remember that the servers are based in the US and also Singapore. So none of your data will actually be pulled into China, so it's actually much safer and that Meta at the moment are having so much trouble with more than all, every single state in the US is taking them to court for privacy issues and leaking things and the Europe is, I mean, they're threatening to pull out of Europe for Instagram and Facebook because of all these kind of things. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. But as you can see on the Pico Interactive website, uh, there is basically no option to go and check out all the various different apps that are actually available on the actual headset itself. So if I, close, uh, if I click on the page where you see all the different things here, it's not possible to go and check all the various different apps that are here. I mean, as far as I know, at this moment in time, it is possible, however, that at the end of the month, after they do all their updates, that they may change this and may update their website. I'm not quite sure because honestly speaking, I need to be able to redeem codes so that when I talk to the developers, they can provide me the code and then I can uh, do some reviews on social media or on YouTube uh, about the experience that it is inside of the Pico. And I think every single content creator is going to tell you the exact same thing. So it's going to be very hard. And if I wanted to buy an experience for someone, for a friend or family member, then again, I won't be able to do that. Uh, I won't be able to buy a code and then give them the code to, to, to redeem. So I think this is the first thing is that Meta basically used the platform as a marketing uh, way to give more awareness to all the various different app developers, which in turn helps them make more money. So Pico, if you're watching this video, I definitely suggest, highly suggest that perhaps you may want to inspire yourself from how they do it, because at the end of the day, Steam do it as well. And that's obviously where Meta got their idea from. So if we look at the things, uh, they have different kind of experiences for app and games, for example. Uh, they also have uh, what is called uh, apps refurbished for the Quest 2. So Quest 2 refurbished apps is also something you can go and check out. Now, what they have at the moment is they have Pistol Whip, The Walking Dead, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, they also have Retribution, which is releasing soon. Pro Era Among Us VR is coming to Meta as well. Uh, explore gaming favorites. So here we go. Um, let me create this pack. Okay, they have packs as well, which they don't have on the Pico at the moment with, of course, Vader Immortal Pack, Quest Starter Pack, Simulator Pack. Uh, they also have Play With Friends, Compete With Friends, and Move With Friends. So hey, they have basically different, uh, you know, uh, they, they have a different set of uh, ways to be able to arrange all the content so that it's packaged in different ways so that people could make several different purchases for different reasons based on different marketing strategies as opposed to just basically buying one app at a time which could be time consuming or perhaps uh, you may miss out on a sale because at the end of the day it's not included as part of a specific pack and then you're not saving x amount of dollars so you know pico again this may be something that you guys want to inspire yourselves from um so let me just see if there's a way to filter all the various different Things, uh, okay, we can filter by Quest, Rift, Go, Gear VR, okay. Um, apps, okay, experiences. All right, now we'll just go as we go along. So um, they have enhanced social features, play with friends. Okay, so this is basically what's going on on the headset itself. Um, okay, and then charts, top selling, most popular, all right. Games to get you started. So they have Tilt Brush, which of course is not available at the moment um, on the Pico. Vader Immortal, which again is not available. Jurassic World, uh, Unleashed, Resident Evil, Body Combat, 
um, Little Cities, which is coming soon, Cities VR, which is coming soon, uh, Audio Trip, Smash Drums, Beat Saber, of course, is definitely not available at the moment on the Pico. Um, and then what else do they have? They have so many. Oh, we have to go to C all. Okay, so let's uh, let's just go to C all. There we go. And then it's just loading. So job simulator, walkabout mini golf, I definitely, definitely think should be on the Pico. Sport scramble, uh, racket NX. Well, it is on the Pico. Tetris effects should definitely be on the Pico. Moss, of course, should also definitely be on the Pico as well. Um, and then let's go to, instead of suggested, let's go to A to Z. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Um, the climb as well is not on the Pico. Dart Central is not there. 11 Table Tennis is there. Fit XR is not there. Uh, so that should definitely be on the Pico as well. Job Simulator is not there, should definitely be there. Jurassic World should also be there. And Moss, as I mentioned, should also be there as well. Uh, let's go to from low price to high price. Wonder is not, oh, it's on the Quest. I didn't know that, okay. Uh, should definitely be on the Pico as well. National Ge Geographic is not a too bad of an experience. Uh, it doesn't last very long, but it's quite cool. Should definitely be there. Rishi's Plank should also be there. And real VR fishing should definitely be there. Racket Fury, I'm mm, not quite sure if it needs to be there, to be honest with you. Um, then let's go to comfort rating. Uh, Parrot Space should definitely be in the Pico, for sure, yes. Um, and then let's just also go to uh, high to low, maybe. Mm, no, Trova VR should also be in the Pico, for sure, yes. Definitely should be inside of the Pico. Uh, just going to app and games again. Going back to uh, CO again, let's just go down. Uh, let's just go to new and updated apps we love. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Ultra Rings should definitely be inside of the headset. Uh, Paint VR should definitely be there as well. Alka Unplugged, well, should definitely be there because now Ultra Leap will enable you the ability to basically uh, have hand tracking now. So if it's compatible with Ultra Leap, it should definitely be there. Rec Room, of course it should be the Pico. Come on, Pico guys. It should definitely be there. In Death on Chain should definitely be there as well. Uh, Synth Rider, as we know, it's already there. Unleashed, I don't think it's there. Golf Plus should be there. Uh, Les Miles Body Combat, as I mentioned before, should also be there. Uh, Population One, well, <laughs> is Meta going to allow Population One to be in the Pico? Mm, that's going to be very, very, very interesting. Uh, let's go to A to Z. It's exactly the same thing. All right, so let's go back. And then let's uh, then go back to gaming, app and games. And then let's go down once more. Uh, Oculus Collection, okay, let's see all what's there. All right, so they have some various different things going on here. Games for strategists, oh, okay, so they group them in different different ways. Vox Machina, it's not okay, it's not bad. Cat and VR, these are all the classics that have been there for quite a while. Dimeo, I think is on the Pico. Eternal Starlight, I think it's a basic game. Prisoner Bowser, Tsuro is on the Pico. Knock, I'm not sure if it's on the Pico. Space Folk, I didn't see it there either. Uh, okay, so basically these are more like your classic games, basically, who've been there for quite a while. Uh, let's go here. Population one, as I mentioned, Arizona Sunshine is definitely on the Pico. Last not also, Gone Raiders is not, and Hyper Dash is on the Pico. So good to see them there for sure. Uh, then let's go to Essential Quest Games. All right, so Echo VR, of course, is not going to be on the Pico for sure. Thriller of the Fight should definitely be on the Pico. Super Hot should be on the Pico as well. Uh, and Pistol Webs, I mentioned before, and the Climb 2 should also be on the Pico. These are all missing games at the moment. Let's see from here which ones are on the Pico. 5 VR Space Channel is not on the Pico. Down Central is not either. Auto Trip is on the Pico and Synth Riders is as well. So good to see those are there. Travel the Globe, let's check out this as well. Uh, Vizfit VR is not on the Pico, should definitely be there. Um, and then Brink Traveler and Ecosphere, I guess, could be added to Pico. Why not? Although these are 
I think quite old games. Let me know in the comments below, guys, uh, what you think. Akron is not on the Pico, should definitely be there. Forever Bowl should definitely be on the Pico. Forever Dark should definitely be on the Pico. And keep talking, nobody explodes. Of course, I should be on the Pico. So, guys, you can start to see how many, uh, you know, how much content is currently missing on the Pico at this moment in time of course as i mentioned at the end of the month there will be an update so who knows perhaps a lot more of these games will be there and do hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you can do an updated video and you don't get to miss that video Apollo 11 quest is i think it is on the pico i'm not quite sure titan to the space i think i saw it on the pico uh not quite sure spheres is not mission iss i don't think it is space explorers it's not there so pico do add also all these various different titles uh onto the actual game as well fun for all ages all right let's check this out uh puzzling places yes this should definitely be on the pico captain uh Toonhead should definitely be on the pico as well zookeeper as well and cookout although there is uh the other one uh, cookout's competitor on the pico but it'd be good to see cookout on there as well okay hit the rk let's check this out 11 table tennis it is there half and half now half and half is not a bad experience it's pretty weird to be honest with you but you know it offers a different experience so pico if you can put it there that'd be good angry birds is 15 dollars by the way so my mistake for saying that it was more expensive on the pico it is not fruit ninja should definitely be on the pico pixel rip 1995 is there job simulator is not there so let's check out what else is missing. Monster Madness, let's check this out. Lives Beneath should definitely be on the Pico. Santa Sinners should definitely be on the Pico. Crashland is not there, should be there. After the Fall is not there and should be there. Help Wanted should also be there. And Drop Dead, I think is on the Pico if I'm not wrong. Uh, or might not, I, I'll have to backtrack later. Uh, fight for Survival, Ooh, interesting, okay. Uh, so after the force we just mentioned free diver should definitely be on the pico savage patch release i haven't tried this green hell i haven't tried this dread hole i think is on the pico i'm not quite sure it's an okay title very classic title as well adventure awaits shadow gate should be on the pico floor plan 2 should also be there down the rabbit hole is on the pico zenith i'm not quite sure it's on the pico yet if it's not it should be there gardens of the sea should okay richard Polis is already on the pico so good to see it there all right guys so as you can see basically a lot of different titles that are missing from the pico basically now the fico uh 4k cable i will do a separate video about this i did do some other videos about it so do go and check out in the in the video wall you can go and find all the various different pico uh videos that we did you know are there and at the end of the day you know it's not bad but i need to test it again i need to update the headset again and then you know i will post an update maybe next weekend about various different you know uh, vr titles and i'll do some testing uh, on the channel so do hit the notification bell after you subscribe all right guys time to go and say hi to some of you do remember that we are doing an awesome giveaway based on the 11,000 subscribers it's up to you how fast we get there because you are supposed to reshare some videos as part and parcel of you know being able to win so do go and click on the link below after this video they will redirect you to the gleam.io's website where all the details are there guys completely free to up you know to to take part and you will be able to win and to win uh, a brand new hp reverb g2 sponsored by hp they'll be the ones to send it to you also brand new pair of cyber shoes with the cyber chair which is basically is by the way it's this one this is the uh, actual chair itself it's not the one that's on the tape on the on the video just so you know it's it's a new chair a very comfortable chair uh with the carpet everything that goes with it uh and also basically what else you'll be able to win oh yes and the 50 us dollar voucher that you'll be able to redeem against any vr title that you want whether it's the oculus meta quest store viveport or steam vr store all right hi all right guys time to transition over let's go to the actual website itself all right, so guys, we're almost at 11,000 subscribers. Another few hundred to go. So guys, do make sure to reshare as many videos as you can so that we can get to 11,000 subscribers as fast as possible and do the amazing giveaway, guys. All right, let's just welcome some people to the channel first. Uh, recent subscribers, thanks to Kelesis, by the way, NZ News and um, EV Cartman as well. You guys are super awesome. Uh, so, and then let's also welcome Richard Palmis, 
Palmisano, Apollo Maldonado, Emma's dad and Emma as well. Hello to you. Nati, Hipsporn World and Otto Therilecoro and Trendy Prod. Guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. You guys are so freaking awesome. It takes a lot to press the subscribe button as I mentioned before. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Let's say hello to a little bit more people because it's a little bit too short. Uh, let's do another one. I'd like to welcome also Lee Willis, Alex HVR, Trisha Mibaz, Richard York, Leon Mann, St. Christy, 77 Chris Lau, Craig Platt, John T and Michael Garrison. Guys, again, thank you so much for joining the channel. And also I'd like to thank all those I haven't mentioned today because of course, some of you with the privacy settings, I won't get to know if you joined or not. So thank you to you. And also thank you to everyone else whose name I haven't mentioned today. All right, time to read some comments and give some shout outs to you guys. Uh, all right, so let's go to yesterday's video. First of all, let me go here. And yesterday's video was all about a new VR sim with F1 so re releasing a brand new title. As you guys know, very, very exciting guys. Uh, F1, the first F1 PC VR experience. Let me just make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see your names. There we go. DTZ1000 says, I heard that for PC VR, the Beacon EO3 Link is a good alternative to, G to Reverb G2. It is, for sure. Yes, if you don't have especially a uh, good PC VR, a PC, sorry, for VR, then, you know, the Pico will provide you the uh, the, the ability to, um, you know, of course, stream everything in the headset. However, um, there is there is also the ability to do it by air without the cable, just so you know. But the quality, it's a bit like the AirLink on the Oculus Quest 2, I would imagine. You need a super powerful router, a very good PC, and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of compression there. Also, there's a, pr a problem with the mic. I will do more testing with the microphone and all this kind of stuff so you can exactly see what I mean. Uh, so do make sure to hit notifications after you subscribe for all those awesome videos coming very soon. Uh, but the graphics are definitely better on the HP Reverb G2 simply because the lenses are not as powerful as the HP Reverb G2. But it does offer a good alternative. It's just that it's not as good as the HP Reverb G2. So, you know, if you can splash, if you don't really want the standard on experience, but you just want the best graphics, then I would still recommend go for the HP Reverb G2 and not the Pico. Uh, but, you know, it's completely up to you. All right. Um, as much as I like Pico and I'm, I'm an ambassador to, Ecos, to Pico, so uh, but I just want to speak the truth. All right. If you want standalone, go for Pico. If you want good PC VR or great PC VR or the best PC VR, go for the HP Reverb G2. That's simple. I want a sandbox VR drive game where you can drive everywhere in the world, kind of like the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator of driving games. It could be done relatively easily, but will someone make it? Well, that is a very, very good comment. Uh, Pay Laros, I would love to have that kind of game as well. If you're just driving around the world like Flux Simulator, that would be freaking awesome. Thank you very much for your comment. And of course, I will reply also later. There's a reply here. That would be so great. Stephen Hales says, yes, I completely agree. La Classe Close says, skeptic about the version of F1 full playability. Electronic Art made the game free to buy, but immediately implemented Apple's in our purchase in F1 2020. So with you could buy parts to repair your F1 car. I calculated that if you had to buy with real money, only one of each part, it will cost you close to 300 uh, dollars inside of the actual app. They repeated the scheme in F1 2021 with pack of coins that you could buy to have a better race experience, I guess. Um, that's a way to suck people's wallet empty. Up to now, we had a complete F1 game on PC, but they added an in-app store. And if it smells as bad as in Apple, I will, I will not recommend buying this game unless you have a very deep pocket. Having your money sucked up of your pocket each time to play is not fun. And some games companies have very good techniques to scam you out of your hard earned money, beware. Now, this is a very, 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 very good comment. Like I thank you very much for that. I definitely, I definitely would say the same thing. If, you, if you're gonna buy a free to play game, but at the end of the day, you can't advance because you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Is it really worth having the experience? Only time will tell when F1 2022 comes down. You know, I will personally not spend thousands of dollars because I don't have thousands of dollars to splash cash on full stop. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, um, would it have good enough play? 
so that you can still do good fun gaming for half an hour without having to progress you know all this we're just gonna have to wait and see guys do hit the notification button as i mentioned before uh, so you get to see all those videos all right guys let's just uh talk about some other comments on another video very very quickly let's go back to videos and let's go to the um oculus quest 2 version 39 updates and also uh, Apple saying that they're hypocrites. Actually, no, I did that yesterday. So let's go to another one. Let's go to um, let's go to this one, the VR Sims racing wheel with the Logitech G29 uh, G923. Sorry, okay, which is this one here, by the way, guys. Which uh, Logitech had sent me as a sponsor because we're one of the brand sponsors as well. Uh, but due to the full time job, I haven't really had that much time to do videos about it so very sorry about that if you're watching logitech i will do more videos i promise um okay so oclive 00 says i've had the g uh the g923 for a while it's good for the money i'm using the quest 2 for sim racing has a fantastic screen resolution for budget headset but the oculus pc software is generally awful thank you very much uh, 1997 cdu says i just bought my g2 i've fallen in love with it at some point hope to get knuckles and a base station if you're watching this video by the way do send, us, do send us an updated comment. How is it going with your G2? Love to know. Brad says, wow, real hand-stitched leather. I'm intrigued. Yeah, well, so far it's been doing good. Uh, and hi, Brad. Jeremy Dyer says, dang, with the growing the channel and many more sponsored products to come, looks like you will have, uh, you will need a nice unboxing knife. All right, okay. Easy now, easy now. Uh, thanks, Jeremy. Uh, Brad, let me guess, it's going to be Aceta Corta, LOL. Uh, yes, very good. Videos very good for this with Asoto Corsa. FYI, I have been using Asoto Corsa and more videos to come with Asoto Corsa and the G923. Uh, it's Obrit W Chain. Okay, not quite sure what you mean by that, but there you go. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending some time together. Do remember that you are or you can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP. So they will be the ones to send it to you, as well as be a potential win a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, everything that goes with. With it sponsored by cyber shoes so they'll be the ones to send it to you as well and also of course you could win a brand a, a, a voucher worth 50 us dollars to redeem against any vr title that you want on the oculus meta quest store steam vr or the vipo so will be completely up to you how to spend that money guys thank you so much for spending some time together really enjoyed my time with you today Whew, more videos coming soon hopefully next weekend so do hit the notification bell after you subscribe and I do like the Pico Neo Link controllers. I will give you some updated because I did send a, 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 an email to them with a whole heap of questions. So do make sure you hang around for that video and come back to the channel very soon, probably in the next week or two. But I do like the controllers. Very good tracking with these controllers. Plenty more videos coming. Bye, guys.